the dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. Hello everybody. This actually is part two. I've done part one. It's on unscrambled, waiting to go out. Well, I'm adding this part to it. I wanted to look up boats. I started off 1900s, 1910, 1920s. So different boats came up, but you know it was the 1920s really, where obviously they couldn't hide it then because they'd already had the Titanic. So that's where more of the boats came in passenger ones I'm talking about and I've already been intrigued because I'm going to include the video that I put on on Scrambled channel about boats I'm going to include it after this one that it's so confusing because what happens is boats come up and then they'll say that that's that boat and that's that boat but what I was finding was that sometimes it came up with three tunnels and sometimes um, chimneys and sometimes it came up with four for the same boat and I found that the other day when I was looking up information about the boats ships that the, the chimneys were wrong sometimes it said it had three sometimes it said it had four so I don't really know what that's about unless people haven't noticed or however they're doing it but that's what some of these pictures are about when you look at the names you'll see they've got three tunnels four tunnels chimneys which quite sort of bizarre, isn't it? There you go. So we're onto the bit with the 1920s now, and we get many more passenger boats. I started noticing then the boat had three chimneys. Oh, and then four chimneys, and we've got a little mention of Titanic there. So that one interested me because that one says that it's got four tunnels. Chimneys. Four chimneys. And what other ship does it look like? Well, we're going to show in a minute. Anyway. Here's a bit more information about it, just pictures and stuff, but there you go. Some have got four, you'll find some of them are three. That one up there's got two, so it just goes like that. They never really still see, see it the same, they have different chimneys. That one's got, yeah, anyway, and also that conyard um, and RMS comes up a lot. I was plundering what it meant. RMS on the ship considering a lot of them are your Royal Highness and all that kind of thing now it just actually means the Royal Mail they were Royal Mail ships as long as they were carrying letters and stuff for the Royal Mail they were Royal Mail ships I didn't know that it's even in a tri trivia thing down here is coming up um, <clears throat> I didn't know that but I do now so there you go that's what it says there and um, yeah, I'm looking here. Trivia. There you go. It's in one of the questions. Did you know that? Because I didn't. I noticed when they were showing the pictures of the boats that this Conrad came up quite a lot. Obviously, that's another high to go and look at, but that Conrad was the name of the people, that the shipping company, to a lot of the boats. Although they say the Royal, you know, the the, the Royal Mail boats as well, but. Conrad came up quite a lot. There you go, because it's got two chimneys there on that one, and four chimneys on this one. So I thought that was quite crazy. But we're not ever supposed to learn the right history about anything, because it's all like this. The other videos like this too. But some it's got less chimneys, some it's got more chimneys. Anyway, looking at the Titanic and the Mesopotamia, I think that's how you say it, whatever you say it, Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, 
Yeah, don't they look the same? Come on. Paint job here. They already shown you that they painted this one. It was a white ship, or I'm going to show you in a moment. It was white. And they painted it to make it look like that. And now it looks like this. Yes, these are boats or something. And then another picture, they're on the other side of the ship. On this one, they're on the other side. Yes, yes, you can do all that. Yeah, they're on the other side now. But look how similar these boats are. I thought that these were the only ones. I thought the Titanic was a ship above, above any other ship that had ever, 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 ever been. But, oh, actually, there were loads of ships that looked just like it. So, um, don't you find that's all a bit bizarre? I mean, if I said, showed you that one and said it was the Titanic, you'd have believed me because you can see the four channel chimneys and it's got the black base. There you go. Look at that, you'd never know. How would you ever know which one was what? Except the chimneys have changed colour. And we all know that they can fabricate that. How bizarre! He's been rumoured for a long time that Japan played a major role as a ship as a naval object of Tartaria in the Old War and there were base strategic shipbuilding facilities that are resourced a lot of historical discrepancies in the official story about their fleet. Warships at the time of World War I, they had too many out of nowhere. They couldn't have built so many ships in so short a period of time based on the economical situation they had during the time of World War I, according to the official story again. But if we keep in mind these photos, we can guess that they received these warships as part of a heritage left from Tartarian times. Well, I am here with the lovely Amy yet again. Hello, Amy. Hello, lovely Karen. I'm going to turn you up. I don't know if you're very loud. Let me just turn you up a bit. You sound a bit like you're a bit distant. I'm just going to turn you up. Speak now, Amy. Okay. Is that louder? Um, it's not the loudest, but I think it'd be all right for the recording. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit because obviously, uh, Rudy's been giving us uh, some information there, but we wanted to look it up to see what what it was saying. It says the Imperial Japanese Imperial now, so obviously another dynasty or imperial uh, Japanese Navy in the Second World War. At the beginning of the Pacific War in 1941 was the third most powerful Navy in the world and the Naval Sur Air Service was one of the most potent air forces in the world. Just wanted to read that because obviously he's saying that like for instance we've said about the Titanic. They did not make the Titanic. The state of the Titanic the side of the ship and everything made it look like this is a ship that had been mended and had been acquired from some other time. It's just slotted into yeah. whatever and then it doesn't really exist anyway because the real Titanic didn't sink. So that was obviously a his story. And then you've right. got these people obviously acquired, they acquired theirs didn't they then? Yes, exactly. Well, when we get to the Second World War, they've got all these sort of frigates, and I never really thought that even maybe these had come from Tartaria. Did you, Amy? Right. No, I never even thought of it. So, you know, these big frigates, they weren't from then. They are Tartarian. Yes. But Tartaria ended into 1925, so the Queen turned it all into the Commonwealth and changed things around a bit. So we'll never know the, the true path of everything, but we're going to look up a little bit of more history. Yeah, looking at this, it says Imperial Japan's last floating battleship, and I don't understand why they'd want to say floating battleship. I mean, boats float. Right. Yeah. Uh... There's a little bit of history there that you can read if you want to. Yeah. Just don't forget, none of that's going to be correct, is it? But you can stop this and at any point and just look at it if you want to read it or look up your own. But anyway, okay, so they've got things like that, right? Anyway, oh, look at the Empress Japan. 
Mmm. I'm not saying it is because it's not as big, but it looks a bit like a smaller Titanic, doesn't it, Amy? It does, Karen. Yes, I agree. Well, there's a few different boats in here. You've got, I can't even say the names, I'm not even going to try, but this one looks a bit like a smaller um, Titanic. So what that document was saying on um, Rudy's video was that they acquired them, probably just like how they acquired the Titanic. Exactly. There it is, the Empress, oh that's the Empress of Britain. That looks like the Empress of Japan. Well, one second, one second, one second. This one has three chimneys, but just looks like a small, you know, maybe they stuck another chimney on, took a chimney off this pla off this boat. Because <laughs> most people think the Titanic is huge, but it's not much bigger than this one. Well, maybe it was another version of this with four turrets on it. Looks quite much bigger there. It depends which angle you're taking it on. But that's crazy, isn't yes. it? Well, on the thing, it actually just said the Empress of Scotland, but it's the Empress of Japan. But I mean, what? <laughs> Does remind us quite of the Titanic, just a bit smaller. Yeah. So they're saying that this was built in 1890 to 1891 and then it was on the west route far east of Canada until 1922. Yeah, there we go. This is quite confusing because in N Wiki it says that the Empress of Japan only had two chimneys and there was only 139 meters long. But this one shows the Empress of Japan, 1930s, Empress of Scotland, but it's got three tunnels, chimneys. Amy, what are you finding? Yeah. There you go, it's uh, got three. Right, I know I what, what we're gonna do is, carry on, Amy, sorry. Uh, I saw one that has two, it said RMS, Empress of Japan around 1910. And there's the Empress of China as well, 1890. That's got two chimneys. Well. It's a painting. It says it. It's going to take the thing across. There, look. Wiki. RM, RMS, Empress of China. It's got two turret, two chimneys on that one. One second. Wikipedia is showing it with two channels, chimneys, oh I can't get it right, two chimneys, and then over here it's got three. So 1930 to 1942, so it was nothing to do with Japan, it was just the names of the boats, because uh, it was, right. up until 1942 it's the Empress of Japan, then it turned into the Empress of Scotland in 1942 to 1957, then to the TS Hansetic, 1957 to 1966. Then it became in 1930 to 1957 the owners were Canadian Pacific Line, and then 1957 to 1966 it was the Hamburg Atlantic Line, and then it's got the operators and that. And then Port of Registry was London. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, didn't we have to be in there somewhere? There you go. It was destroyed by fire in New York on the 7th of September 1966 and scrapped. But here they're showing it with three tunnels. Oh my god, three chimneys. Right. Me and Amy were wanting to look up the Japanese Navy and we've come over looking at these ships. <laughs> And what it is, is the Empress of Japan, I know it has three chimneys, looks very similar, very, very, very similar to the Titanic with four chimneys, doesn't it, Amy? Yeah, oh, it does. It does, Karen, yes. And on the footage, 
when it's supposed to be leaving Southampton, I made a comment of, look at the hull of the ship. James noticed it, that it's all been botched up. Yes. You know, this wasn't a spanking new ship when they're saying it was. It was already a right. doctored ship. But I mean, I don't know how they'd add, I don't know how they'd add another tunnel, you know, another chimney. And if you look at the bridges, they do look a little bit different, but they're very similar boats. They are very, very right. similar. So this is another picture of. Oh, that's the Canadian emperors. <laughs> oh, of Japan, Canadian yeah. specifics, emperors of Japan. And just look how similar it is to the Titanic. Yes. Amy's leaving me! <laughs> oh, I know. I'm so sorry to have to leave. <laughs> That's all right, my darling. Oh, Thanks for helping me, Amy. Have a nice dinner. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you'll find more stuff, Karen. <laughs> oh, love you, Amy. Love, love you too, Karen. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Oh, bye, bye. Yeah, darling. go and have a nice dinner. Oh, thanks, Karen. I love you. Love you too, darling. To yeah, bye, bye darling. darling. Bye, darling. Oh, lovely Amy. Hope she has a nice dinner. But anyway, I don't know if I was expecting to. I was expecting to see that they were basically the same ship. They go on and on about the Titanic sister, but this one's definitely a cousin because of the chimney thing, but they're practically the same ship. Hmm. Here on this picture, they're showing more decks than on this one. But I was just so shocked at how similar they were. Not built different, are they? Same ship, just one's a bit bigger than the other one, if that's the case. Yep, this one is the ropey one with all the different coloured paints on here. And, uh, you know, like... I don't know. Oh, I don't know. No, there's one, two, three. There's more on there, I think. So when you look at this, this is a bigger ship than this, but on some of the pictures it doesn't look like that. Just goodness knows what they do to us. You know, when you see it more from, you know, this angle, the ships look very similar, don't they? But anyway, that was a bit of finding. Tartaria, Russia, North China, Siberia, Japan. <clears throat> Japanese name for Tartaria. Tartaria, 16th century. Sometimes when you click into them, they don't really take you to where you want to go. What's everybody's thoughts then with the statement? It's been rumoured for a long time that Japan played a major role as a naval object of Tartaria in the Old War as there were, I think that's where it gets to, were, um, base strategic shipbuilding facilities. There is a lot of historical discrepancies in the official history about their fleets, warships at that time of the World War One. They had uh, too many out there from nowhere. They couldn't have built so many ships in such a short period of time based on the economical situation they had during World War I. According to the official story again, but if we keep in mind these photographs, we can guess that they received these warships as part of their heritage left over from Tartarian times. What does everybody make to that statement? Thank you, Rudy. What do you think? So it links in with the ships I've just been telling you about, they inherited the whole lot. Thanks for watching. Let's just go and find the footage and see what's happening with the people. So, you know, waving goodbye to the boat. And what did we find, James? Diddly squat. <laughs> One video, everybody's copied, and you couldn't say that that was the ship leaving Southampton. No, not at all. Um, 
interestingly on the footage we have looked at these are all the same videos there's only Anything three 451 on it there's only it's three the funnels video. with smoke same coming video. out the real most funnel has got no smoke coming out of it which i find a bit odd these are the same videos they're all that's the same video i don't know what that is but um it does seem rather odd because i'm sure i have seen um footage of it leaving southampton old black and white film but whether it's footage. just not on YouTube or... That's the same video. That's the same video. They've been copied. Mm. These are all the same video. All with the same... And make that look enormous, don't they? I mean, look at that. It's gigantic. But it mm. wasn't. Well, it's said to have been the biggest ship in its yeah, day. That. I mean, compared to modern vessels, no, it's not big at all. It's more... It's not, it's maybe not a small, small boat, but it's not as big as they've made, you know, like the great big, the biggest boat of its time. I, I would say it's about the same size as a ferry that crosses from Dover to Calais or, or something. Or just a big yacht. Mm. But it looks big there, doesn't it? The impression we're given is it's massive, but it's about eight, nine hundred foot long. Yeah. Just a minute ago, we were actually looking at the whole boat, but I mean, I just stopped this footage. Does that look super duper fantastic? It looks dirty, it doesn't look brand new and pristine. I noticed it on all this, this doesn't look very good. I mean, if you find footage on it, it just doesn't look all painted and new. I mean, how do we not know? They could have lied about that, and that's a Tartaria boat. Well, even on the Official, that's a Tartaria boat. Even looking at the official narrative, if you look into the finances of the White Star Line, they were financially in trouble, and that's where the whole story seemed to come about, about swapping ships over. It's, uh, if I remember rightly, it's to do with the insurance, and this voyage was make or break of the White Star Line. So, uh, I don't know I what mean, happened to the company it after that. It's, it's supposed to be a new it ship. Looks, it looks worn, it looks dirty. It looks grubby. You can see it in the... In yeah. The, yeah. It doesn't look like this wonderfully no. new painted boat which has just been made. Just on that lower section under that gang, gangway bridge, um, you've got that... It, it looks like patched up bits on there. It doesn't look yeah, right at all. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yeah, it doesn't does look it right, look, does it? No. No. But maybe that's another... Maybe it's a ship that comes from the past and they've taken mm. it. Yeah, that's what I, that, I think. Maybe that that is the truth oh, of it. Oh, there's three. St right, a it's history. B, um, it never happened. Or C, it was a ship from another. I would go. Era. With, I would go with option C, and it's just a cover story to get rid of it. Um, yeah, because the sister ship stayed. Yeah, but I think that didn't that sink as well eventually. I can't even remember that one. Oh.